What's going on, Fish Army? This is Roberto with RLC Aquatics, and I appreciate you joining my channel, Fish Fingers. Now, if this is your first time joining the channel, make sure you push that subscribe button, smack that like button, and ding the notification bell so you don't miss out on the future content that I come out with. So in today's video, what we're going to be doing is setting up an aquarium for my panda Corydoras. They're showing signs of breeding. I want to get this aquarium going. So without further ado, let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so here it is. This is the 20 long that we're going to go ahead and fix up. So as you can see, these are the young, uh, I wouldn't call them young, let's call them young adults. Uh, they're at the age now where they're uh, ready to start breeding. And I have about 11 of them in here. So in my past experience with Corys, they do very well when you have sand on the bottom. The finer the sand, the better in my opinion. So we're gonna go ahead and clean this aquarium out. Get these uh, 11, I wanna say there's 11, I started with 11. I'm assuming they're all in there because I've never seen any uh, floaters or any uh, dead on the bottom. So we're going to get these uh, corridors out this aquarium, put them in a holding tank, clean this up, add uh, a deep sand bed in there. Uh, we're going to keep that wooden uh, driftwood in there. We might add some more things in there as well. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and clean this up and prep them because these, I, I'm not sure if you guys, if the camera's going to get it, you guys see there. There you go, there's a unfertile egg there, an unfertile egg there. Um, there's another one right there. And they're, they're, they're beginning to uh, get it in, if, if you know what I mean, you know what I mean? So let's go ahead and clean this tank up. We're gonna get the sand ready. We're gonna go ahead and change out the water. We're gonna go ahead and just clean this up all in all and uh, stay tuned, let's go. Look at that goodness on that wood. Ooh wee. Let's take this. It's a lot of dead moss. Let's take all this moss. Shout out to Aquafunk because he gave me all this. We're gonna take this. Look at that. Look at that goodness. Ooh Alright, we're gonna put it in the cherry tank. Shout out to my cherries. So for any of you wondering what kind of sand I'm going to be using, this is what normally works for me. Uh, this is another brand that I use from Home Depot or Lowe's, but I uh, just want to go ahead and give you guys some information as far as what I will be using, uh, all natural play sand. And you just got to rinse it out a couple times. I'll show you what, uh, what I mean about that, but I know you guys are going to be asking in the comments below what I'm using, and this is what it is. <laughs> people so this is one of the most important parts if you do this right the first time you don't have to continue to keep uh, changing the water after you do this so once you get it done and you rinse it out thoroughly the first time you don't have to worry about cloudy water you don't have to worry about doing water changes and uh, see that foam and all that cloudiness you want to get rid of that and I'll show you in a second what I mean all right you see this this is what you want to get rid of you know you do this a couple of times it's tedious you want to wash it out thoroughly i mean you'll probably be rinsing this uh for a good 20 minutes and uh it just prevents you like i said from having to do water changes but this is what you want to prevent i mean look how look how murky and cloudy that water is but you'll see it again in a second when i'm when i'm done all right so this is pretty much what you want to see um i counted eight rinses i know it's tedious but like i said it's uh just prevents you from having a get a headache and do this uh 
after you add the sand into the aquarium. So this is what you want to see. I'm not sure if the sand will settle, but pretty much can see right through it. And um, you know, like I said, again, it's eight rinses is what I counted. It might take you more, it might take you little, but this is exactly what you want to see. All right, let's move this around. Got all the sand in there. I know it looks like a lot, but uh, having a deep sand bed is the way to go. And maybe I'll do another video as to why, but uh, one of my favorite videos uh, from Corey from Aquarium Co-op explains it a little bit better. Um, but I'll go ahead and I'll probably maybe do a video on that. But the deeper the sand, the better. I know it seems like a lot of sand in here, but um, actually I don't even think it's enough in my opinion. But we're going to go ahead and work with this and uh, add some water and I'll show you guys what it looks like afterwards. For any of you guys want to know what Florida's like, this is what it's like. Hot, sun's out, rains 15 minutes later, then the sun comes out 15 minutes later, and it rains again, which results in sticky, wet humidity. Just want to give you guys a little, little tip before you guys come to Florida. All right, so there she is, ladies and gentlemen. So. Just need to add the fish. I'm gonna leave it the way it is for now. I don't wanna get too crazy. Make it simple. I uh, got some driftwood there. I uh, got the moss cleaned up in there. It's tucked in. I will attach to that wood soon. You guys know how I feel about the pothos. You guys already know. And then this right there, um, this has been out of the water for a little bit. So uh, it should only be a few days before this soaks. And uh, this, metal clamp is just what's holding it down mickey mouse you know what i mean work with what we got people work with what we got so yeah i'm gonna add the quarries right now just wanted to show you guys what the tank looked like all right ladies and gentlemen so they are all in there uh looks like we only have one brave one but they are all literally in this little log here it's an artificial log uh, which is why I put it in there, just to, to de-stress them out a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to, um, I, I mean, I'm not sure if you guys know, but the more you stress fish, uh, the more they're prone to diseases and sickness and stuff like that. So I wanted to be quick as possible and give them something, uh, give them some places to hide. There's some more in that corner back there behind that driftwood. Sorry that it's so cloudy, but um, yeah, I, I appreciate you guys joining the the video and checking me out just setting up this tank for them to breed of course i will keep you guys posted on the progress as i always do so what i'm going to go ahead and do is now that we got this tank running i am going to show you the next video just a sneak peek of what i'm going to be doing i'm very excited about this aquarium uh the one that i'll actually be showing you of course i'm excited for this one too because they're going to start breeding and you know what that means and I will keep you posted on these guys again. Let's see if we can, they're all in that log. All right, but yeah, let's go ahead and now that we got this taken care of, let's go ahead and show you guys what the next video is gonna go ahead and consist of. Let's do it.
All right, here it is, my 40 gallon breeder with the super red plecos that I got from Wild Fish Tanks. Um, I appreciate you, Ryan, you hooked it up, man. And I'm gonna go ahead and do an update video on these guys. This aquarium is super dirty, but I love the way it's coming out with the vegetation. Got the Anubias growing on the driftwood back there. And um, I'm not sure if you guys can see them, but this is where I put all my uh, calls as far as my shrimp calls and they are all over the place like i'm not sure if this video is going to do it justice you see a little one back there i mean they are literally i mean look you see a see this little baby right there don't want to get into it too much uh just wanted to show you guys real quick what the next video is going to be i'm going to go ahead and clean this up i need some pleco caves because they're getting uh, a little older now I'm not too familiar with plecos so not sure exactly how long it'll be before they start breeding, but check it out, man. Stay tuned for the next video. Make sure you guys got the post notifications on. Make sure you hit that like button for me. Something free and something so simple goes a long way for me, guys. So I appreciate you all. But uh, we'll be uh, letting you guys know more information about this aquarium. So stay tuned because I'm going to go ahead and get this cleaned up. Fill it up. I'm playing catch up right now. Got to go ahead and clean that filter but I'm very excited about this, so stay tuned. As always, stay positive because being negative is a disease. Let's go.